unfortunately we had some uh, regression as a result of COVID and we're, we're going to bring back the funding levels pre-COVID uh, pre uh, today to include some increases in uh, Millennium Scholarships and facility uh, infrastructure. Governor Lombardo stopped at the University of Nevada today to visit with faculty and students. We'll tell you why the university is calling on the governor to boost university success in Nevada. Tops 2 News at 530. Yeah, Governor Joe Lombardo made his first trip as governor to the University of Nevada, Reno today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ryan Kennedy. And I'm Kristen Remington. Thanks for keeping it here with us at 530. Funding levels for higher education, as you know, took a hit during the pandemic. And as Josh many reports, the governor took time to speak with university officials today about needs that could be met, he says, through some of the higher education proposals outlined in the executive budget. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Governor Lombardo stopped at the University of Nevada, Reno on Thursday to see how his proposed higher education investments could enhance the education experience for students at Nevada's oldest university. And I won't hold anything against you because I'm a UNLV graduate. Oh. Oh. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day and thank you for the introductions. After Lombardo was greeted by students and athletes, they got to business. University President Sandoval took Lombardo on a tour of campus to show where that proposed deferred maintenance funding could be put to good use. Which is why we're taking you on the not glamorous route to see the, uh, <laughs> the, the old life sciences building. University of Nevada Reno President Brian Sandoval says he's encouraged by the governor's budget proposals to address aging buildings. With regard to the buildings on campus, there's a lot of money in the budget for the deferred maintenance, so we have the oldest campus. We were just saying this building right that we're standing in front of was built in 1876. In the first biennium of the governor's budget, Lombardo plans to invest $75 million for the long-term stability of the state's Millennium Scholarship Program and invest $65 million in deferred maintenance for aging buildings. We're doing that through the scholarships and, and the infrastructure, okay, but it is in, in the total uh, bottom line, as you described, is we got to chip away that, with it. Lombardo has proposed $20 million additional dollars in graduate student stipends and to support research at systems institutions. Funding in the budget for graduate student stipends, that's really going to help our Carnegie research rating uh, nationally. It's going to allow us to have even more graduate students that informs the research, that informs that workforce development. The pandemic brought slumping enrollment at UNR, and Sandoval says that these investments should help drive up numbers. Covering the story, Josh Many, 2 News.